Hey there, welcome to Automation Bro. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can access a new tab by clicking on this link and then verify the title of this new tab and close the tab and then switch back to the old tab. So let's do that. The first thing we're going to do is click on this click here, do inspect. And then we're going to find the element for this. So I'm going to do control F and this is part of example class and it's a anchor link. So I'll just do dot example and A. So this is our unique identifier. I'm going to head back to VS code. Okay, so here all I have done is I have this new file created called new window and I have a describe block and two it blocks. So the first it block will is basically it's going to switch to a new tab and the second it block will close the new tab and then switch back to the old tab. Okay, so let's um, go in here and then add our selector. Let's go, I can name it link and then I'm going to paste this. Okay, and then we have to open our browser. So I'll do browser.url and then the URL is windows. So I have in my base URL over here, I search for base URL and so I put the original URL and then I'm adding just the path in front of it. Okay, then we will have to click on that link. So we'll do that link.click. After that, this is where we will actually do the part where we will switch the window. So I will do browser dot switch window. And then we will have once we click on that, we will switch to a new window. So if I click here, it will switch to this window windows slash new. So I'm going to copy this and then head back to VS code. And then just paste this here and add this in front. Okay. So this will switch to the new window and then we will just verify the title of the new window. So we'll do expect browser dot to have title and then the title for the new window is new window. Okay. So let's run this to see if this works. I'm going to do npx wdao. Okay, so it opened the new window. And then if you notice, it stayed there for a bit and then it closed the test. All right, so that's good. And what we're gonna do now is we will close that new window that it opened and then we'll switch back to the old window. So to do that, it's pretty easy. We'll do browser.close window this time. And over here, we'll just do browser.switch window again. Since we have closed it, we have to go back to the original window. So with, for that, it's just windows. That's basically what we opened up over here. So we wanted to switch it there. And then we will just add another expect block to make sure we verify the title of that particular um, page. So we'll do the same thing to have title. This time the title of that page is the internet. So we're gonna use that. And what I'm also going to do is just add pause so that we can see that it actually waited. Um, it actually went on that screen. So I'm going to run this again. Okay, so it's going to click on the link open the new bit tab, close the tab, and then it's back onto the old tab. And if you check our test here, there you go. Uh, both of our tests worked. All right, so this code will be available on GitHub for you to access. And if you want to learn more about Webdriver IO, you can check out my Webdriver IO series. You can find the links in the description below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep watching more content like this. That's it for this video, folks. I will see you in the next one.